this is the room of Christopher Robin. And like many children, Christopher loves the stories that fill the pages of his books. And his favorite is this, about a wonderful place called the Hundred Acre Wood, home to a very fine friend named Winnie the Pooh. Now on this grand day... Yes, it is grand. It's a fine day for being with friends and having a, um, a smackerel of, um, something sweet. <laughs> Fantabulous day. day. Quite as nice. It's a beautiful day. Unless you've lost your tail. Oh, dear. Uh, not your tail. Oh, say it ain't so. Poor Eeyore. Oh, don't you worry, Eeyore, old friend. We can help you find it. I'm sure we'll find it. Of course. Oh, you betcha. Absolutely. Now, <clears throat> Eeyore, where did you last see your tail? Back there. Uh, no, I mean where, where. <laughs> well, had an apple by the tree. Went to Rabbit's house. Stopped by the stream. <sighs> hmm. It won't be lost for long. We'll find it in no time. If not sooner. Yes, no and with that, everyone started thinking about the very best way to help find Eeyore's tail. Thanks for helping. Guess you can't have too many friends. Oh, I like stories. Would you please, Mr. Narrator? Certainly, Piglet. Piglet and Eeyore soon found a comfortable spot on the sunny side of the story tree, perfect for reading and other fun things. Uh, Mr. Narrator? Yes, Piglet? Perhaps we could begin now. I, I mean, if you're ready. Hope this tale has a happy ending. There are many stories from which to choose, each one better than the one before. Select the sticker story you'd like to hear and give it a click. Let's see. Where shall we start? Excellent choice. Let's begin at the beginning and start with Pooh's nicest nap. The sunny sun. Leafy tree. Birds chirping. A babbling brook. Bees buzzing. Slippery stone. Poo. Honey. Fresh flowers. Poo's nicest nap. One warm, sunny afternoon, Poo sat under his favorite leafy tree, finishing off a large helping of honey. He listened to the birds chirping, the bees buzzing, and the brook babbling. And this made Pooh a very sleepy bear indeed. I do believe that last smallish smackerel and the quite sunny sun have made me rather sleepy. Soon, Pooh fell fast asleep for the nicest nap he ever had. Yep, that's Pooh. If he's not napping, he's eating. As stories go, that was a very fine one. Thank you, Mr. Narrator. Oh, I'm certainly glad you like it, Eeyore. We could do another one if uh, Mr. Narrator wouldn't mind. Piglet, I would be only too pleased to read another story, if you'll place all the stickers. Ah yes, Tigger's Biggest Bounce, a fine choice. The Sunny Sun. Tigger. Pooh. Fence. Tree. Butterfly. 
cloud, bird, tree, Tigger's biggest bounce. One fine day, Pooh went to watch Tigger bounce his biggest bounce. Tigger tried bouncing high as a fence. He tried bouncing high as a butterfly. He tried bouncing high as a tree and high as a bird. Tigger tried bouncing all the way to a cloud in the sky. <laughs> bounce is what Tiggers do best. And that is how Tigger bounced his biggest <laughs> bounce. Guess Tigger can bounce himself out of most any mess. Not bouncy myself. Oh, thank you very much indeed, Mr. Narrator. I certainly enjoyed the story. Those were some very fun stickers. I I I'm glad you enjoyed it, Eeyore. Uh, perhaps we could do another, if it isn't too very much trouble, Mr. Narrator. I should be delighted to read another, Piglet. That is, if you would like to place more stickers. So it's, how does your garden grow, is it? Hmm. Then let's begin. Butterfly. Corn. Rabbit. Tomatoes. Scarecrow. Pumpkin patch. Fresh flowers. Crow. How does your garden grow? Rabbit loves to care for his garden. He waters the corn, weeds the tomatoes, and keeps the pumpkin patch particularly tidy. His scarecrow keeps the crow away. Oh, soon enough this hard work will pay off, you'll see. <laughs> and that is how Rabbit's garden grows. Good to see that some stories end happily. That was very nice, Mr. Narrator. I liked it quite a lot. I'm very happy you enjoyed it, Eeyore. Perhaps we could have another, if it's all right with Mr. Narrator? <laughs> Piglet, I would be only too pleased to read another story, if you'll place all the stickers. Very good. The Honeypot Mystery. Sounds like a most intriguing tale. Table. Smallest honeypot. Biggest honeypot. Poo. Big honeypot. Chair. Book. Cupboard. The honeypot mystery. One morning, Poo felt like a small smackerel of something sweet. He climbed onto a chair and looked for honey in his cupboard. He checked in the very smallest honeypot. He checked in the big, bigger and biggest honey pots, but all the pots were empty. Oh, oh bother. Not the least little drip. Now what could have become of my honey? Then Pooh remembered. He had eaten oh. every last drop. Pooh likes honey. No mystery there. As stories go, that was a very fine one. Thank you, Mr. Narrator. I I I'm glad you enjoyed it, Eeyore. Uh, perhaps we could do another, uh, if it isn't too very much trouble, Mr. Narrator. I should be delighted to read another, Piglet. That is, if you would like to place more stickers. Let's try Piglet and the Most Beautiful Butterfly. Piglet. Yellow butterfly. Purple butterfly. Orange butterfly. Red butterfly. The sunny sun. Blue butterfly. Fresh flowers. Piglet and the most beautiful butterfly. One spring day, Piglet wandered the Hundred Acre Wood in search of the most beautiful butterfly. He saw a blue butterfly and a green one too. He saw a red butterfly. He saw yellow, purple and even orange butterflies. Me, oh my! One's as beautiful as the other and the next one's even more so. Why, I believe they must all be the most beautiful. And that is how Piglet found the most beautiful butterfly. 
Good story, as far as stories go. That was very nice, Mr. Narrator. I liked it quite a lot. Oh, I'm certainly glad you like it, Eeyore. Well, we could do another one if uh, Mr. Narrator wouldn't mind. Piglet, I would be only too pleased to read another story if you'll place all the stickers. A nice choice. Let's read Bath Time for Tigger, shall we? Toothbrush. Scrub brush. Rubber duck. Curtains. Towel. Tigger. Box of bubbles. Mirror. Bath mat. Bath time for Tigger. Tigger had everything he needed for a nice bath. He had a towel, a scrub brush and a rubber duck. But there was one problem. Tiggers, you see, do not like taking baths. Then quite by accident, he happened to add a box of bubbles to the tub and it quickly grew quite bubbly indeed. That is when Tigger found that bath time can be a fun time. Well, who'd have thunk it? Tiggers like taking baths. <laughs> as long as they're popular. <laughs> yep, Tigger and water don't usually mix. Oh, thank you very much indeed, Mr. Narrator. I certainly enjoyed the story. Those were some very fun stickers. I'm very happy you enjoyed it, Eeyore. Perhaps we could have another, if it's all right with Mr. Narrator. <laughs> I should be delighted to read another, Piglet. Ooh. That is, if you would like to place more stickers. Indeed. Owl sleepless night it is. Let's begin, shall we? Glass of milk. Bookshelf. Owl. Side table. Rocking chair. Book. Glasses. Footstool. Painting. Owl sleepless night. One night, Owl simply could not fall asleep, no matter how he tried. He tried drinking a glass of warm milk. He tried sitting in his rocking chair. He put on his glasses and read a book. It was a story about an owl who could not fall asleep. And soon, shh, he was fast asleep. Owl does like his books, doesn't he? That was very nice, Mr. Narrator. I liked it quite a lot. I I I'm glad you enjoyed it, Eeyore. Uh, perhaps we could do another, uh, if it isn't too very much trouble, Mr. Narrator. Piglet, I would be only too pleased to read another story, if you'll place all the stickers. Of course, cloud pictures, a fine choice. Who? Butterfly cloud. Pirate ship cloud. Honeypot cloud. Leafy tree. Tigger. The sunny sun. Piglet. Fresh flowers. Cloud pictures. Pooh and Tigger and Piglet went to lay in the grass atop the hill. They found shapes in the clouds. Tigger saw a cloud that looked like a pirate ship. Piglet saw a butterfly cloud. Pooh saw a cloud shaped like a great big honeypot. Suddenly, my tumbly's rather rumbly. <laughs> Which started Pooh's tummy thinking. So Pooh went home for a smallish smack room. There's a story. Pooh sees honey everywhere. Oh, thank you very much indeed, Mr. Narrator. I certainly enjoyed the story. Those were some very fun stickers. Oh, I'm certainly glad you like it, Eeyore. We could do another one if uh, Mr. Narrator wouldn't mind. I should be delighted to read another, Piglet. Oh. That is, if you would like to place more stickers. 
Piglet and his shadow. Let's read it together. Chair. Pooh. Chair. Piglet. Fresh flowers. Footstool. Painting. Footstool. Piglet and his shadow. One rather dark and stormy night, Piglet found himself feeling the least bit fearful. A chilly wind blew the curtains. Pooh dropped by to find Piglet hiding behind his favorite chair. Just then, Piglet noticed they were not alone in the room. Pooh soon saw that it was only Piglet's shadow. Perhaps I and my shadow can stay to keep you and your shadow company. <gasps> Comforted by Pooh, Piglet felt not nearly so fearful. Nice tale. Two friends are better than one, I always say. As stories go, that was a very fine one. Thank you, Mr. Narrator. I'm very happy you enjoyed it, Eeyore. Perhaps we could have another, if it's all right with Mr. Narrator. <laughs> Piglet, I would be only too pleased to read another story, if you'll place all the stickers. Look, wonderful choice. Let's read and find out what Tiggers do best. Piglet. Tigger. Rabbit. Eeyore Pooh Kessie Owl Flying a kite Leafy tree What Tiggers do best One fine day, Tigger decided to find <laughs> just what Tiggers do best. He thought it might be climbing a tree. He thought it might be flying a kite. All his friends came to watch. Pooh and Piglet, Eeyore and Owl, Rabbit and Kessie were there. What is it, they wondered, that Tiggers do best? Oh, oh ask me! I know! <laughs> I know what us Tiggers do bestest of all. Tiggers, he decided, are best at being best friends. A fine story, like the part when Tigger went kite flying. Oh, thank you very much indeed, Mr. Narrator. I certainly enjoyed the story. Those were some very fun stickers. I I'm glad you enjoyed it, Eeyore. Uh, perhaps we could do another, if it isn't too very much trouble, Mr. Narrator. I should be delighted to read another, Piglet. Ooh. That is, if you would like to place more stickers. Now we shall read A Very Neat Rabbit. Dishes. Cups, rabbit, pots, fresh flowers, feather duster, poo, boxes, pans, a very neat rabbit. Each and every spring, Rabbit cleans his house from top to bottom. He has a list to tell him what to do. Pooh has come to watch him take cups and dishes and pots and pans from their shelves. He puts them in boxes as he cleans his cupboards with a feather duster. Rabbit has put his list so neatly away that he cannot find it. Now, I don't know where anything is and where everything goes. Finally, Pooh found the list and Rabbit was happy indeed. Oh. That's Rabbit for you. That was very nice, Mr. Narrator. I liked it quite a lot. I'm very... Piglet, I would be only too... Yes, let's read Piglet's Acorn Adventure. Leafy Tree. Piglet. Berries. Acorns. Fresh flowers. Tree stump. Basket. The Sunny Sun Berry Bush Piglet's Acorn Adventure One glorious autumn day, Piglet was gathering berries and acorns to last him the winter. 
he went into the forest with his favorite basket and found a nice berry bush and found many, many acorns. All suddenly, Piglet heard a rustling noise. Something else was there in the forest with him. Was it a heifer lump? Was it a jaguar? It was only a friendly squirrel who had come to watch. There's a good story, if you like happy endings, that is. As stories go, that was a very fine one. Thank you, Mr. Narrator. Oh, I'm certainly glad you like it, Eeyore. Well, we could do another one if uh, Mr. Narrator wouldn't mind. I should be delighted to read another, Piglet. That is, if you would like to place more stickers. Perhaps we can come back later for more sticker stories. Let's check in and see how the others are doing. Let's go get us a whole lollapalooz and load of apples! So Tigger went bouncing off in search of the highest tree in the forest. Little Piglet scurried along behind. Oh, finding tall trees is what Tigger's do the best. And if that's not it, then I don't know what is. And I don't. But take a look at it anyway, would you? Oh my, it's very tall. Tall and full of apples to boot. <laughs> I could get a whole load of them apples and cheer up old doggy boy. Huh, I guess I could knock down an apple or two or three hundred while I'm up there. <laughs> Give a quick click where you want me to go, and I'll bounce. Pick a level, and we'll get started. The little basket is the easy one, the big basket is the hardest, and the middle basket is somewhere around the middleest. But you probably knew that. Hey, Piglet, why don't you grab that basket and try to catch some apples for me? Oh, I shall try my best, Tigger. Piglet! Let's start knocking the apples to go with the basket. You gotta watch these fellas on account of sometimes these look a little different. Shall we help Tigger bounce apples to match the basket? Watch for apples that don't match. <laughs> they can be rather sneaky. This is super superbulous. We got every last little apple. <laughs> you count your basket load, Piglet, and I'll count the rest of them. Oh, I wonder how many I've caught. And so Tigger jumped down to help little Piglet. They were both happy with the apples they had collected. Just look, eight wonderful apples. Would you look at what I see? There's apple number three. <laughs> There are eleven apples now. Yes, sirree. We'll do it again and have twice times three times the fun. Ready or not, here I come. Ooh. Oh, I don't see head nor tail in that tail. At least not from this disadvantage point. <laughs> oh, Tigger, you're so very high up there. I'm glad I'm a bit lower uh, down here.
<laughs> we did it! Hey, Piglet, you count yours, and I'll bounce on down and count the rest of them. Oh, a very fine idea, Tigger. So with that, Tigger bounced down to join Piglet. They were very excited about how many apples they had gathered together. Oh, here's another, and that makes ten apples. Whoopsie! <laughs> There's only one apple here. There are eleven apples now. <laughs> We're having whole whopping loads of fun. Let's bounce some more. <laughs> I'm ready if you are. Oh. Heads up, Piglet, old pal. Okay, donkey. Let's bounce on back and see if Eeyore's found his tail yet. So, a cooking we shall go. A fine idea. You know, I <laughs> fancy myself quite the chef. Perhaps we might work together. Wonderful. <laughs> Two heads are better than none, I always say. So off went Rabbit and Owl to begin their baking. By the time they'd reached Rabbit's house, they had quite a few very good ideas. <laughs> well, naturally. I always enjoy a good carrot cake. Mmm, naturally, Rabbit. But Eeyore might prefer something with thistles, don't you think? Hmm. Well, I suppose. Uh, but I do know that he enjoys it. Oh, wonderful news. Owl and I have talked things over and have come up with a fine plan. Owl will read from the recipe book, and then if you can gather what we need from the shelf and add it to the bowl, I shall handle the mixing. What an ingenious plan! Choose the cookbook to see all the different things we can bake. Then select a picture to begin baking that recipe. Carrot cake, chocolate chip cookies. These items will help us make a couple of cupcakes. I'd say we need a bit of butter. One. Time to add two scoops of flour. One. Flour, fine, fine. <laughs> Two. It seems we shall require one fine fresh egg. One. We shall need one cup of cold milk. Milk, of course. One. Oh, such cute little cupcakes. Now, perhaps we can find a cup of sugar. One. Oh, do you see? This recipe calls for one spoonful of vanilla. Berry vanilla. One. Simply smashing. And now then, Owl can get you started with the decorating while I finish with the cooking. How about a rather round cupcake to decorate while ours are in the oven? While you decorate, I'll help our friend Rabbit. Here are all the things you'll need. Icing to your left. Sprinkles and other amusing things over here, and that spatula on the bottom will let you frost the whole thing at once.
as my aunt Ophelia used to say, simply, superbly, supremely splendid. That's looking quite good. All finished then? Let's see how our friend Rabbit is doing with the baking. Ah, glad you're back. You were so helpful last time we baked together. A click on the cookbook. That will get us started. Then when you've spotted something you'd like to bake, just click on the picture to begin baking. Yes, I think that's plenty for now. Uh, let's see what the others are doing. Let's wander the stream, you and I. <sighs> and so with that, Pooh and Eeyore made their way to the stream and began to search for Eeyore's tail. Well, Eeyore, my friend, I see trees and I see fields of flowers, but none of them look much like a tail. <sighs> Figures. Probably lost for good. Oh, look, Eeyore. I found you. No oh, bother. It's just a little stick boat. I suppose Christopher Robin forgot to remember to take it after our last picnic. I've had a thought. <laughs> or something like one. We can play a little game with this while we look for your tail. Now, if you will move that rather pointerish thing, our boat will move too. Up or down, this way or that. If you touch whatever might pass by, we get to keep the letter it starts with. <laughs> so, let's see how many letters we can get. Oh, I see a Z! C is for cattail. Otter ought to start with O, I think. I believe minnow starts with M. Of course, T is for turtle. Acorn always starts with A, I think. It certainly is nice having you helping. What a grand adventure we've had. Possibly my favorite was when there was a tall cattail we bumped ourselves right into. <laughs> Always better with a friend, if you have one. We must be close to finding Eeyore's tail, as we've found several things which aren't. Let's keep looking. So with that, Pooh moved the little stick boat over the rocks, and they continued to search for Eeyore's tail. There's an E at the front of egg. Pollywog, like Pooh, begins with P. Ukulele. It always seems to begin with a U, doesn't it?
I believe rock starts with R. I do believe yacht starts with Y. Dragonflies begin with D, don't they? <laughs> F is how frog begins. I had no idea searching for Eeyore's tail could be so much fun. <laughs> oh, this was such wonderful fun. I rather liked our encounter when we watched a little egg start to hatch. Huh, <laughs> my favorite. We found some things, but none of them were Eeyore's tail, so... Let's keep looking, shall we? Happily, Pooh placed the little boat on the other side of the rocks. Eeyore followed along behind. There is generally a J at the front of Jug. I think that X looks quite X-like. Most logs start with L, I rather think. A V for violet. <laughs> There's a lovely N at the front of Newt, don't you think? I don't see a single tail, yours or otherwise. But I shall keep looking. Oh, that was such fun with our little boat, <laughs> don't you think? Oh, it was so exciting when we nudged a nice Newt who went diving underwater. Guess it was after all. No bother. Still no Eeyore's tail. We shall have to search some more, don't you think? Pooh collected Christopher's little boat from the rocks, then plopped it back into the water. They continued their journey along the stream. Now, I rather think stick has an S for starters. I know that honey starts with H. Whirlpool starts with W. I believe butterfly starts with B, more or less. There is a G at the beginning of goldfish. What fun it is searching. <laughs> Perhaps we should lose things more often. What fine fun that was. I especially enjoyed when we flumped right into a stick. 
Sounds like a lot of fun for someone. We found some things, but none of them were Eeyore's tail, so let's keep looking, shall we? So with that, Pooh moved the little stick boat over the rocks, and they continued to search for Eeyore's tail. Kingfisher always starts with the letter K. I believe I starts the word insect. Q is always at the start of coil. Otter ought to start with O, I think. No, I rather think stick has an S for starters. Oh, I see a Z! Most logs start with L, I rather think. I see no sign of Eeyore's tail just yet, so we must keep searching. Oh, this was such wonderful fun. I suppose my favorite thing was when we saw three sticks in a rather Z-like sort of shape. One of my favorites, too. No bother. Still no Eeyore's tail. We shall have to search some more, don't you think? Pooh collected Christopher's little boat from the rocks, then plopped it back into the water. They continued their journey along the stream. I do believe... I know. Let's go back and see if anyone else has found your missing tail. <laughs> Getting sort of lonely without it. Back to the kitchen! Let's see what tasty treats we can cook up together, shall we? Choose the cookbook to see all the different things. Shall we head back and... I'll meet you at the clearing. And off Kissy flew, soaring the skies in search of Eeyore's tail and some cheerful songs to sing. If you'd like to come along, you can help me too. Songs are always better when they're sung with friends. Soon, Kessie arrived at her favorite clearing in the wood, just in time to meet the others. Hi, everybody. Hello, Kessie. I brought my best singing voice. I'm ready, Cassie. I'm all ready. <laughs> Almost. I got a lot of songs, but I don't know how they end. Pooh and Tigger and Eeyore are going to help come up with some endings. And you can help by clicking on the best one, okay? Thanks. To start, pick one of the three music notes up in the corner. The small note is easy. The middle note... See what you think of this. I am cold and I am sweet. A special and delicious treat. The best dessert you've ever known. See, that's where I always get stuck. Choose whoever you think has the best answer. All right then, ready? I am cold and I am sweet A special and delicious treat The best dessert you've ever known I must be an icy cream cone! Why, Tigger, you've done it! Oh, thank you! That's just the ending it ought to have! Now we can do another one! 
Here we go! I float along the gentle breeze But I might pop if I hit the trees Time for a party, blow me up soon! Yes, I am a balloon! Fantabulous, Pooh Bear! Yes, you did it! Now I know how that song ends! Thanks to you and my friends! <laughs> Let's keep going! All right then, ready? I'm very small and on each wing are little dots. Now here's the thing, inside a rug, I'd be so snug. I'm a ladybug. That'll work if anything does, Tigger. Yeah, that's how it goes. Never would have known without some help from my friends. Let's work on another one. See what you think of this. My tail's a curly cue. I love to snort and chew. I have a snout that's really big. I must be a pig. Better than I could have done, Pooh. Sounds just perfect. Never could have finished without the help of my friends. Let's try another. All right then, ready? In fall, I change from green to brown. On my head, I wear a crown. From me, the mighty oak is born. I'm a tiny acorn. <laughs> you did it, donkey boy! <laughs> He's good. Yeah, that's how it goes. Here we go. Call me clever, call me sly. Truth be told, I'm very shy. My home is a den among the rocks. I must be a fox. At least someone got it right. Not me, of course. Sounds just Perfect! Never could have finished without the help of my friends. Let's try another. See what you think of this. You may keep me on a ring, or fastened round your neck with string. Lock a door by using me. I must be a key. Oh, Eeyore, that's just what Cassie was looking for. Yes, you did it! Now I know how that song ends. Thanks to you and my friends. <laughs> Let's keep going. All right then, ready? On one end, I have a sharp tip. Shooting through the air with a zip. Made of wood, I'm long and narrow. I am an arrow. At least someone got it right. Not me, of course. Oh, thank you. That's just the ending it ought to have. I am round and when we play, throw me, catch me, shout hooray. Sometimes big and sometimes small. I am a ball. That'll work if anything does, Tigger. Yes, you did it! Now I know how that song ends. Thanks to you and my friends. <laughs> Let's keep going. Here we go. At first you might think I'm a cow, but I'm so strong I pull a plow. I pull it through the soil and rocks. I must be an ox. Fantabulous, Pooh Bear. Oh, thank you. That's just the ending it ought to have. Now we can do another one. All right then, ready? My skin is rough and gray. I use my trunk to spray. It's scary when I clump and thump. I must be a heffalump. 
At least someone got it right. Not me, of course. Yeah, that's how it goes. Never would have known without some help from my friends. Let's work on another one. Here we go. Children ride on me through the snow. Faster, faster, look at me go. Watch out for the curves ahead. That's right, I'm a sled. <laughs> you did it, donkey boy! <laughs> He's good. Sounds just perfect. Never could have finished without the help of my friends. Let's try another. See what you think of this. When my furry wings take flight, people scurry off in fright. I like to catch a moth or gnat. I must be a bat. Oh, Eeyore, that's just what Cassie was looking for. Yeah. When you stroke my silky fur, that is when you'll hear me purr. When I'm mad, my ears go flat. I am a kitty cat. Better than I could have done, Pooh. Yes, you did it! Now I know how that song ends. Thanks to you and my friends. <laughs> Let's keep going. See what you think of this. I'm a curved and metal thing. When you strike me, I will ring. From the steeple, hear me now. I am a bell. At least someone got it right. Not me, of course. Oh, thank you. That's just the ending it ought to have. Now we can do another one. All right, then. Ready? Look for me at sea. Sailing I will be. It's my job to float. That's because I am a boat. Better than I could have done, Pooh. Sounds just perfect. Never could have finished without the help of my friends. Let's try another. See what you think of this. When folks walk by, they hear me ribbit. And on my lily pad, I exhibit talent for catching flies on a log. That's right. I'm a frog. Why, Tigger, you've done it. Yes, you did it. Now I know how that song ends. Thanks to you and my friends. Okay, let's go back and see how the others are doing. Hope my tail isn't as lonely as I am. Thank you so much for helping our friends look for Eeyore's tail. We hope you'll join us again soon. Goodbye, friend. Thanks for helping. Oh, well. oh, goodbye. Uh, come back any old time. So long. I hope we see you again soon. TTFN. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>